Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to continue my discussion about time shift operation and we will extend the time shift operation that we learned in the last video tutorial on continuous time signal. And we will extend that knowledge on discrete time signals. So uh, again, since we are talking about time shift signals, so there will be two uh, possibilities. Uh, one is known as time delay. Your signal will be delayed in time or signal will have an advanced version of itself in time. So time shift will have two conse consequences on discrete time signals as well, like it had on continuous time signals. So uh, what we are supposed to do, we are supposed to replace X of N by X of N minus N, right? So here N is a time variable and it will be replaced by N minus N, right? So uh, remember in continuous time signal, we were replacing T by T minus tau. So here again, this M indicates the time shift or the value of the time shift. And depending upon its value, we will have uh, the time shift as time delay or time advance. So let's see what are the two options. So signal will be time delayed if M is greater than zero or it is positive, right? Because greater than zero means it is going to be positive. That means you will have increment in terms of time domain, which means your result, your resultant signal will appear delayed or it will appear much later than its original position, right? The second thing or second particular option can have here is basically uh, time advance. And what is going to happen here, M is less than zero. That means M is going to negative. That means you will have a decrement in terms of time domain that means your signal will appear much less than or much before and then what it was its original position right so uh, depending upon the value of m uh, either it is positive signal will be have a delayed version or if m is negative signal will have a neg uh, have a, a time advanced version right so uh, let's explore these terms in further detail in mathematical analysis so let's say we are considering a signal, which is our original signal, X of N. Uh, remember, uh, usually in discrete time signal, there is also one variable, which is called T, X of N T. T is nothing but the sample space or the spacing between the two consecutive samples of discrete time signals. But right now we are not considering uh, T here because we want to just consider the effect of uh, shifting on only on samples. So X of N is basically N square minus one whenever N is greater than zero and X of N is simply zero whenever N is less than zero. So it is a two piece function. You can say that signal will have a different value or different uh, definition for N is greater than or equal to zero. And for negative samples, when, when N is less than zero, for example, N is minus one, minus two or minus three, signals value will remain zero, right? So this is your original signal and I'm going to delay it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to replace n by n minus 3. If you are noticing here, it's very important to understand the value of m here is 3 or m is equal to positive 3. Positive 3 means you will have an increment in time domain. That means you will have a delayed version of signal. So if I'm going to replace n by n minus 3, what is going to happen in mathematical equation? So wherever you see n, uh, it will be replaced by n minus 3. So n was replaced by n minus 3. This n was also replaced by n minus 3. The square, whole square will remain same, minus 1. And here n is minus 3 and n minus 3. So we will solve this equation for or simplify this equation, uh, especially these intervals on, uh, for uh, n. So you know that n minus 3, minus 3 will go over here. It will become plus 3, right? And minus three will also go here and it will become plus three, right? Similarly, you will open this up. It will become n square uh, minus six n because uh, I'm just going to open this formula. I hope you can do it yourself and that will be plus nine, right? If I conclude and completely solve this equation, I will have this equation. This is your time delayed version. What I've done here, n square minus six n plus n and minus plus nine and minus one would become plus that, so this is the definition, and minus three has gone there, so n is greater than or equal to three, and n for n is less than three, signal's value is zero. So if you want to notice the time delayed version, you see this point, which was n equal to zero, right, has actually shifted to what? 
to 0.3 because the increment in time delay or increment in time is basically equals to positive three. So if after three, n is equal to greater than or equals to three, signal have certain definition, but before n is less than three, for example, n is equals to two, n is equals to one, n is equals to zero, signal have its value equals to zero, right? So this is the uh, time delayed equation of uh, original signal. I'm going to show you also in mathematical, uh, in graphical form, but before that we want to do it also for time advanced version. So let's uh, uh, perform the same thing for time advanced version in mathematical analysis. So if I'm going to show you time, so this is the uh, original signal that is the same signal and I want to perform this time what time advanced version. So I'm gonna replace it uh, N by N plus two. See, N is being replaced uh, with n plus two that means this plus two is basically for n minus m that means m is basically what n minus two remember the original replacement or the generalized replacement is n minus m so if you compare that thing minus m is equals to two or m is equals to minus two my m is equals to minus two that means you are going to decrement in terms of time that means you are going to have an advanced version of time domain right so let's say if i'm going to replace this the replacement in my signal so what is going to happen wherever we see this n we will replace it with n plus 2 you see this n plus 2 this is also n plus 2 this is also n plus 2 and this is also n plus 2 if i'm going to open this formula it will become n square plus 4n right i'm just opening the formula i hope you can do it yourself n plus 4 right similarly uh, this interval this plus 2 will go over there so it will become minus 2 and similarly this plus 2 will go over there so it will become minus 2 so if i am going to show you the finalized advanced equation or time advanced version of this signal in mathematical form it will look like this so you can see that n square plus 4 n plus 4 minus 1 would have become plus 3 uh, n is greater than or equal to minus 2 or n is less than minus 2 right and the thing which we want to notice here point n equal to zero has shifted to in towards left side from zero it is shifted to minus two that means your signal has appeared much before than its original position that means your signal has experienced time advanced operation in time domain i hope you understand okay let's do the time shift operation in discrete time signal in graphical form so let's consider the very first thing which is about the original signal and if I want to plot this signal, I need to consider its different sample value. We know that this signal starts from n equal to zero, and before n uh, before n is equal to zero, it, it does not have any value, right? So if I'm gonna take the sample values, so these are the sample values I've already calculated earlier. So x of zero, if I'm going to put the value n equal to zero, I will get minus one. Similarly, x of uh, one, it will be simply zero, x of two, it will be three and so on, right? This is the zeroth point and at zeroth sample, the value of the signal is minus one. So we know that minus one, it will go somewhere here, okay? Uh, I'm just assuming uh, or approximating the y-axis value because uh, I'm more interested in the time domain shifting right i am not interested in y x x uh, value right so it may be uh, not exact values because you know that i have to go to from 0 to 15 and this is the limited area right so the, if this is 0 in y axis and let's suppose this is going to be 16 so half of it it will be somewhere 8 and half of it it will, it will be 4 so minus 1 it is not exactly minus 1 but this arrow indicate this is the minus 1 right then x equals to 1 or n equals to 1, the value of the signal will be simply 0. So the signal value will be simply 0 here. And x equals to, uh, sorry, n equals to 2, the value of the signal will be 3. So it will be somewhere here, over here. Not exactly 4, but just below than 4, right? Then if, if I take the value of the simple uh, n equals to 3, so this is n equals to 0, this is n equals to uh, 1, this is n is equals to 2, so this is n equals to 3. So at x of n equals to 3, signal's value is basically equals to 8, so 
the sample value will be somewhere here, right? This this should be the value of the signal, right? Similarly, uh, if I want to plot x of four, which is n equals to four, its value will be somewhere equals to fifteen, right? So this is the uh, x of n signal. Let's plot uh, its time delayed version, which we have already seen in mathematical form. So this is x of n minus three, uh, three units delayed signal. And if I want to show the sample values, I have also calculated here. So the sample values are basically these. The signal will be starting at n equals to three. Before three, signal value will remain zero. At n equals to three, which means n equals to zero, it will be simply zero. n equals to one, it will be simply zero. n is equals to two, it will be simply zero. But at n equals to three, its value will become minus one. So uh, approximate, I'm just uh, again taking approximate value, it will be minus three. At n equals to uh, four, signal value will be simply zero because uh, I've already estimated the values. And n equals to five, its value will be three. So it will be somewhere here. Let's say it's three. Then x equals to six, it will, its value will be somewhere here. n equals to seven, its value will be 15, which will be somewhere here, right? So if you are uh, observing it, uh, this is the point to be noted here. You see, this is the zeroth point, and this point is shifted over here. So it is basically shifted by how much time by n equals to or m equals to three, which we can observe here, right? So this signal is a delayed version of the uh, original signal. Let's consider now advanced operation in graphical domain. So uh, this is the advanced uh, version of the signal, uh, time advanced version of the signal of the discrete time signal x of n plus two. And I have also calculated its sample values. Its sample values are these ones. So you can understand that this signal has no value before minus two, right? Its values are starting at minus two. So at x minus two, so at n equals to minus two, minus two, its value is basically minus one. You n equals to minus two, it will be somewhere here. So our sample will be here at this position. And similarly, at n equals to minus one, its value is simply zero. So there will be simply a dot over here, right? And similarly, at n equals to zero, signal strength will be somewhere here because x of zero is equals to three. Similarly, x of one will be equals to uh, eight. So it will be approximately equals to somewhere here. And if I want to plot x of two, it will be equals to what? Equals to 15, which means it will go somewhere here, right? Again, if I want to compare with the original signal, you see this is the original signal. And by comparison, you see this signal is actually advanced or has come earlier in the time domain by n is equals to how much unit and is m is equals to two unit or minus two unit that is why signal is basically advanced in time domain okay so if i want to name these signals uh, this very first signal is basically x of n signal uh, this one which is basically the time delayed version of the signal is basically uh, known as x of n minus 3. And similarly, the last signal is this one. This is x of n plus 2, right? So uh, one can easily compare these three signals. This is the original signal. So this second signal is basically shifted uh, three units uh, in samples. And you can compare these three units, n equals to zero, n equals to one, n is equals to two. These three units or these three samples are left and the signal has become now uh, this one in time domain it starts from n equals to three. And similarly, if I want to uh, analyze the last signal, this one is shifted. Original signal was present here at n equals to uh, zero and it is now present uh, 
it is shifted by two units. So this unit n equals to zero is shifted to n is equals to minus two, which is shown here. So one can easily notice here that this signal is basically time advanced version of the original signal. And one can easily highlight these are the new two samples which are introduced in the time advanced version of signal. So I hope you have understand the time shifting operation in discrete time signal. Still, if you have any confusion or query regarding this time shifting method in discrete time signal, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.